a game changer for New Brunswick. 5G gives us the best bench strength of Toronto with all the benefits that come with being in New Brunswick. Let's put it into perspective. 3G gave us apps on our phone. 4G allows us to stream video content. 5G will open a world of possibilities that I can't even imagine. So we'll talk to someone else about that. <laughs> that is exactly in keeping with what we're doing in your government. Open up possibilities and create a climate that restores confidence in our province. You need confidence and we will give you confidence because we make decisions based on facts. They won't all be ones you like. They won't all be ones that you approve of. But you'll realize why we've done it and I hope the necessity of doing it. Because doing nothing is absolutely not an option. I find the horror and close. As you leave here this evening, I invite you to join us. We're going to close the gap in one generation, and we're going to do it together. Allons-y. We need to ask ourselves what we're willing to do for the project to prosper. Nous devons tout nous demander ce que nous sommes prêts à faire pour que le nouveau Brunswick puisse être prospère. This is our future. We must build it, and we need your help. Daring to do what's different must be a collective effort. Even though as a government we're in a minority situation, we will do what's right. You know, I said the first, after the very first, I guess the confidence vote, we, we got into government, I had an interview. And my comment, they said, wow, that's close. How are you ever going to manage in a minority government? And I said, we have the most, probably the, the, a solid foundation like never before. We're a minority government of 25 that couldn't be bought. And that's a foundation to work from. To make, do things right, do what's right all across this province, and make decisions that need to be made, that won't be kicked down to the next generation. And even though in the minority situation, we will continue to do what's right. Balance the budget, reduce the debt load. We'll use that money. The interest that we've saved in that money will be used for critical services. And we'll soon be in a position to make it more affordable to live here in New Brunswick. We have a plan. Confidence is back. We're moving from a have-not province to a can-do province. The question is, are you willing to work with us? Are you willing to close the gap in one generation? Are you willing to identify opportunities that we have to be better? Because I've said it many times before, the one thing you learn when you get to be my age is that you don't know as much as you thought you did when you were 20. <laughs> so I'm asking for everyone to be part of the solution for our province. And look every day, and, then, and when you go to work, about doing something a little bit more. We have a plan. We can fix this province, and we're on the move. It's in a direction that we'll all be proud of. And we'll look back at where we came from and be amazed at where we are. But it'll only be a start. And the biggest opportunity we have is that every single person looks at it and is part of it. In the civil service, it's my biggest goal, is how do we create a platform that continues to get better? Just like your business, how do you have a business that continues to improve and continues to evolve and good people come to the surface and want to drive change? And you do that by allowing them the freedom to do it. And our goal is to create a culture of change, a culture of freedom, and a culture of innovation. And we need all 53,000 employees in government, and we need the people of this province to be part of that solution. And with that, we cannot fail. We have a plan. We will succeed. Thank you so much for tonight.
Il verrò so insieme. This is an inside of a compliment, but from behind, you look like David Cooley. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Oh. I was going for the attack. I'll, uh, <laughs> I know it's around here or something. Yeah, I saw him earlier. I don't know where he is. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, boy. It is. It is. 
How was it? Oh, it wasn't bad. You know, I, I guess the things that I was looking for was things on tax reform. Um, you know, we're heavily taxed province here. We're talking to Chamber of Commerce. I was hoping that, you know, some talk on the double tax, but uh, overall I think it was pretty good. Uh, you know, we're going to keep hammering home with the uh, Premier and the government on that. So. Are you saying that because uh, you're kissing ass with the Premier? Or? Well, it's not about kissing ass. It's about working together to, to get new runs forward. I mean, we've had four years of liberal uh, destruction in this province, and we've got to, you know, get our heads out of our, you know what, to, to make it move forward. What I need is, is uh, again, some, some details on, on how we're going to do that. You know, again, we push forward things like, uh, you know, eliminating uh, the double tax, having tax reform, uh, savings and, and amalgamations of the two health authorities, those sorts of things, so we're going to keep pushing. He is good talking. He is good to negotiate. Yeah. And he... We're not, I'm not kissing his ass, but uh, he's doing good. Yeah. All I can say is we're heading in the right direction. Um, maybe not as fast as I would like, but we're heading in the right direction. I noticed, I noticed he never mentioned the union in his speech. The union? Well, I think he, he kind of you know, talked about the civil service and that sort of thing. Um, so, I, yeah. A few. Well, we're looking at the opening of the legislature March 10th. So I have Yeah, I've seen you around. We're ready for the bio. Yep, yep, we got Rod down there, he's uh, turning over every stone and rocking hard, so... Is it the Irvings? Oh, they're here. They're here. I know. But they're right, I talked to them both. Uh, I, I know them both. Um, what about this is Campbell when they try to do it wrong? Say about why he was fired? Uh, you know, I, I think people see through that. Um, you know what I mean? The, the, the media will report on whatever going through the courts there. Uh, I have no concerns. I know Rod, uh, people that I've talked to that know him for years, you know, nothing but respect. So it's it's the games they're going to play, but I think the public sees through that. A lot of people at the nomination meeting that year. Yeah, it was good. It was a great crowd. We had uh, actual over capacity. We had fire, uh, the, I guess the managers at the site, those we had broke the fire marshal's code, so we had to kick out the wall and open it up. So it was good. You seen David Cohen? Uh, I think it's around, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him. So, oh, you, you want me to continue talking? You can't put uh, direct me to the direction that I can... I, I, I don't... I you don't can know. say that way at least, <laughs> then you just take off. There must be a tree around here, he's hanging Uh You seen David Cohn? Hey, how you doing, you? Hi, Charles, how are you? I saw him earlier. Huh? I saw him walk over So here. what do you think of the speech? Well, it was a great speech. I enjoyed it. Say that because you be fired. Oh, stop. Can't help you. Go walk a dog. Go walk a dog. Again, again. How was the speech? Probably not I, even your dog. Oh my god. Is there any critics here? I can talk. I don't want to talk to Kevin Biggers. He's down there, but Kevin Bang Bang Biggers. I'm not. I'm don't not even. No, I don't want to talk to him. I only asked once. If they denied me once, that's it. They're done. Oh, oh, oh. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, I'm my first speech. Oh, sorry. sorry. I got no, no, no. You're the first one I talked to. That's all right. Okay. Oh, we'll see that as a compliment. Okay. Where's David? How am I supposed to congratulate you? I don't know. What did I do? I, you know what? I hate being a senior and having a senior moment. Well, I'm more senior than you, Chuck. <laughs> we both arrived. Yeah. Have you seen David Cohen? I sat with him. Hey, uh, that way? Okay. Who are you? You wait, you keep back to your name. From the dead. My God. See David Cohen around? Um, he was sitting over there at my table, actually. Now I haven't seen him in a while. He's working the room, don't worry. Oh, I know. I know. He's fast. He sees me, he runs. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Opposition. It's Carl, right? Yes. 
Opposition don't run from me. They talk to me. Once they're in power, then they run from me. Him and the Irving, and I had the dog, 
EOG. We have him as a truck. We've been writing his office. We should have seen this, the first three people. So the beer crack, see me and the dog. The biggest was funny. He showed the maps. He, oh, he maps. lost, he lost the event. Yeah. Shows maps. He looks very, very sincere. I said, did you bring David Boone here? Show him that. He looks very sincere. He didn't show me the maps. He didn't show you the maps. No, he hid the maps. You want action, you don't want no maps. I but want action. He looks like he is. So, so, so anybody in that position, is, is, is in a really difficult, difficult place. Um, he knows he could lose his job because it happened to Bruce Northrup when he was in that place. I told him that. Right? So I think he does want to do some positive things, but he doesn't want to lose his job. So uh, that creates, that puts him in a real box. He sounds very sincere. So I think he's willing to lose his job. So I don't think he's willing to lose his job. No? Okay. So somebody said, and we always say the flood is connected to the clear cutting. Somebody brought up, said that a Dutch person said the new Trans Canada Highway is like a dike. And that is the reason there's flood. So there's two combinations, clear cutting and the new Trans Canada Highway between Mountain and Fredericton. And the engineer screwed up. Yeah, well, where they built it through the, the Grand Lakes Marsh there, Grand Lakes Meadows. Uh, yes, there are issues. I actually tried to look back at that, at the old documents. Yeah. And they, they said, and they were, what was so interesting is they weren't concerned for some reason about the flooding. They were concerned about the wildlife, but not the flooding. And they didn't want to build a bridge too much. They weren't interested in building bridges. Yeah, so they built essentially a very long causeway in a way. Yeah. Uh, plus the, the bridges they didn't build. Can you look in the internet? Uh, I'll get my people right on it and they can get in touch with your people. Get out of here before I come up with another question. <laughs> but, you know, that's what happens. You're the opposition, no problem. It's funny that the media will want to talk to uh, uh, Kevin Bang Bang Vickers before me. He's right there, everybody is just saying hello, hello. Okay, that's it. interested in talking to him, so I'm out of here. The best person to talk to, all done, right here. Beautiful job.